John Bolton is under attack today, slammed by the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, for his tell-all book, which has thrown the impeachment trial into turmoil. That's classic backstabber. The president is also lashing out at Bolton, tweeting today that he fired Bolton because, if I listened to him, we would be in World War VI by now. It seems that just about everybody who works for this president either regrets it or has something damning to say. Now Democratic presidential hopeful Pete Buttigieg is among those calling for Bolton to testify at the impeachment trial. If this president is innocent, why are they working so hard to suppress witnesses and evidence? Shouldn't witnesses and evidence help show that the president's innocent? I caught up with Mayor Pete at his campaign headquarters in Des Moines. There's a lot of adrenaline. We've been doing this for more than a year now, and we're less than a week away from that critical, critical day of the Iowa caucus. With just five days to go, he's pulling out all the stops, crisscrossing the state on a campaign blitz and his teams made it easy to pronounce his name. You solved the pronunciation problem. <laughs> <laughs> how helpful has this sticker been? You know, it's great. It uh, helps people figure out how to say it. Um, you got some good news from the latest polls. What does that tell you? We are in a position to succeed, but the polls go up or down. You don't want to get too caught up in that because you know, a lot of folks are making up their minds just in these last few days. That's why we're racing across the state, holding town hall events, giving speeches, making sure that I'm connecting with voters. How important is victory in this state for the overall campaign? We have to perform well here in Iowa because there's a lot of talk about uh, who's good at winning elections, but this is the first chance to show versus tell that we have a winning message for 2020.